What up? We're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Freaking uh, restream was giving me some issues. Didn't recognize my Twitch account for some reason. But we're back. Shit. Oh, what was that fucking shit at? Damn. We're back. Uh, <clears throat> gonna work on some new music tonight. And yeah, this is a track I started a little while ago. Um, it was actually on a collaboration with somebody else. And then I just like, <clears throat> these elements were just kind of in the session. And this was the baseline for, the, uh, for a different track completely. And I just ended up it was completely on accident, just like throwing these elements together and shit worked super well. So I think tonight I'm going to play, um, probably put some guitar on it, a couple, couple guitar tracks over it. <laughs> Cause, uh, right now it's just kind of a loop. So let's get this stuff set up here. Bring that back. I'm gonna loop this out for you guys. Tell me if you like it. I'm gonna set up I'm gonna set up my guitar stuff while you guys listen to this. so bad this synth man is just destroys my computer my uh, processing power holy fuck I guess I gotta freeze that it's insane
that vibrato is hilarious. All right, <clears throat> we're all tuned up here. Uh, this is gonna be weird. It's like a weird delay <clears throat> on my uh, my guitar track. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to play like this. This delay. just have to turn the monitoring off just trying to figure out a riff for this track can actually hear my guitar it's kind of <clears throat> we don't have the monitoring on so you can't really hear it in the like doll but you might be able to hear it through my mic so it's gonna sound kind of plain until we turn the actual recording back on let's see So we're using the, I did want to kind of build a, a guitar tone <clears throat> tonight as well. So right now, we're using this baby, the old Chase Bliss Warped Vinyl Hi-Fi. <clears throat> and that's for a nice vibrato chorus type thing. So let's get the let's get the tone down before we try and play the riff. Turn the monitoring on. And I think I want like a pretty slight vibrato on this. So we're gonna refer to the uh, instruction manual. Let's see what you can get. So 
what we got. We got all these different preset options here. Alright, let's go with the option at the beach. Let's turn that baby on. Dip switches are off here. And we got tempo up one middle and in the middle. Tone all the way up. Get some lag in there. Put the mix on. See what that sounds like. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let me turn it oh, what the heck is going on with my Sorry about the technical difficulties, everyone. Let's get some warp in there. Yeah, I don't think I could play with that on. That lag is so weird. Maybe it's my. Hold on. I think I want something a little bit heavier <clears throat> than at the beach. A little bit more thick. Need that thickness. Let's try Pasadena. RPM on. Got the bounce on. Making it bounce. Got the RPM. Wait. Oh, there's two RPMs. <laughs> All right. 
tone. Get the lag in there. It's a nice mix. Alright, let's see what this sounds like. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> That's extremely heavy. A bit too much though, I think. fuck around with this a little more. I kind of like this tone, I'm digging where it's going. I think I might put some processing on it. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to remember what the heck. There it is. Got this plug in that has all kinds of stuff on it. All kinds of great <clears throat> amps, overdrives, just everything. Boy, I already got that shit though. Let me use this on a while. Let's see what I like here. That's some shit. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know what's causing. That is super dreamy. Holy shit. this. Can't tell what that is. Alright, I'm going to turn the output volume up here. A little too dreamy for our purposes, but it's a really cool, really cool sound. <coughs> uh, Ed, thank you for your comments. Appreciate it. 
So yeah, we got all these <clears throat> dope little presets and then we can go in and like change them to how exactly we like. I'm gonna try and find a blues sound. Get a little Nice little bluesy sound to it. Try a different drive. Maybe you can go some a little bit of tube. All tube action. Thank you. 
kind of like it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. It's, it is very vintage sounding. drive on it. Get the isotope in there. That's so much. <laughs> Look at how this sounds without the pedal. I feel like this works actually really fucking well. This tone. <clears throat> Excuse my fucking <clears throat> playing. I'm like off the beat right now because of this d weird delay. I need to figure that out eventually. It don't. It's only. It only happens when I stream, <clears throat> which is like. Yeah, I don't know. Gotta gotta figure that out. So I think what I'm going to do is just turn the monitoring off and you guys won't be able to actually hear me play along. You might. trying to record this see how this goes 
Might have to move the audio back with the delay, but we'll see. Actually, first, I wanted to share. You might have noticed, I got a new guitar. Uh, picked this baby all the way up. Drove all the way up to uh, Pittsburgh to get this shit. It was not not fun. Nobody ever really wants to go to Pittsburgh, so. <laughs> that was literally my, my first time there, and I was there for approximately five minutes. So, um, this is a Dan Electro, dead on 67, is the motto. These were some really old like, um, I forget when this was made originally. These were, <clears throat> I think these Danos were used in like the 50s and 60s, I believe. I could be wrong on that. It might be. But, <clears throat> um, pretty sure Jimi Hendrix had one. There were a bunch of, bunch of famous guitarists that had these guys. But the tone on these is incredible, man. It's, um, this is actually a reissue of, uh, they did a reissue in, I think, the early 2000s sometimes. Um, and the tone is so nice because of these pickups right here. So these guys, um, they're called lipstick pickups. And I couldn't actually, I don't actually know how they're different. Um, versus other pickups, I didn't I didn't do um, a whole ton of research on that, but um, this one I had this so this pickup is a reissued one from two thousand early two thousands, and then this bottom pickup is actually a pickup I bought on eBay or something for like hundred fifty bucks, <laughs> and it's a uh, an original pickup from um, when this guitar was first is issued in the I think 50s I, I can't remember but yeah this is this is uh, the original pickup so we have this, this switch down here and I can switch um, the top one top uh, position of the switch just corresponds to this top pickup here and then the middle is kind of um, moving the path through both of these pickups at the same time. And then the bottom one, obviously, is the bottom pickup. So what I've noticed is that I really like um, how the how this guitar sounds when it's moving through both pickups, the new and the old pickup. So I can actually, let me just uh, play you what it sounds like here. So this is, this is the new pickup, right? the old pickup I don't know if you <laughs> might not be able to tell the tone difference but it is there you might be able to hear if you're listening on a uh, pretty good pair of speakers or headphones that the bass the lower frequencies of the guitar on the new or on the uh, old pickup which is what we're playing on right now are not as prevalent as they are with the, with the new pickup. So here's the old. Right. That's a that's a lower note. Let's switch. It's almost shelved off like a little bit. A little bit of the low frequencies are gone, but <clears throat> the high frequencies with the um, with the old pickup are just so crisp. I, I like, I love that sound. So. 
So it does sound a little thin though in the low end. So I think um, <clears throat> I ended up deciding to just run it through both and kind of get the best of both here. Still have the crispy high end, but like it's not thin. So it gives you a really nice, really nice sound. All right. That's enough expo exposition for now. Let's actually play some guitar. <laughs> Alright, I want to just turn this, the monitoring off, um, so that delay doesn't fuck me up. And then we'll try recording some shit. See how it turns out. Tone up, all right. Now let's try it. play these takes perfectly man it's tough I'm gonna bring this mic down so you can maybe hear the guitar a little better take a couple times. <laughs> up dude <laughs> holy shit <clears throat> all right we're 
we're gonna get it though. actually hear it <laughs> but let's uh let's play it over yeah it's that's what i thought there's a fucking delay on it so i gotta just move this back Not bad. I could do better, I think, though. take that as a good take move it over here let's try a couple more takes <clears throat> oh this it's kind of bright I don't know something here. <clears throat> so I want this to be a little darker, but not too crazy. It's pretty good. I'm gonna like this reverb though turn this off use my own reverb here kind of want like a, a small
All right, I think I like that. Let me put that in context and see how it's. A Hmm, <clears throat> I think I like that. Alright, we'll fuck with the tone a little more later, but... I think I wanna... Do a couple more takes. Mom, you said you can hear... Only every other note. go round number two Mm-hmm. 
last one was okay, so I'm gonna save that. Little mouse. <laughs> now <coughs> just having a little bit of trouble with that little fill there at it. Shit. Damn it, that was so close. got it on the last take I was trying to hold down that middle note for a little longer but that stretch was fucking my hand up it's a little little bluesy run got it though. I think I did. Damn, I fucking love that. That's dope. 
All right, so that'll be our little B part. <clears throat> and we're just gonna loop that for a couple bars. Um, I think what would be cool is put some rhythm guitar on this also. Have a cool little cool little rhythm to go along with the lead. Yeah, so the reason you're probably only hearing every other note that I was playing was because I wasn't actually, it wasn't actually coming through Ableton, right? It was just going through my microphone because uh, if I had put it through Ableton, <clears throat> then there's a, there's a little bit of a delay. I don't know if you can hear it. Here's the, I'm going to put it up to the microphone. a little bit of a delay there meaning <clears throat> if I can hear that delay that makes it infinitely harder to play on time or like in time with the actual beat <laughs> so I had to turn the <clears throat> the monitoring off while I was recording the actual part but we got it recorded now and <clears throat> I think I'm going to duplicate this some uh, rhythm <clears throat> change some colors here all right <clears throat> I think I'm gonna actually arrange this real quick I think I want to put this, give it like a whole. Start on the bar four, and then I can bring the bass line. Actually, however long this is. Wait, you can't hear the rest of the beat? cutting out like that. <clears throat> I have no 
fucking idea why he's doing that. That's so weird. Shit, dude. Well, I kind of ruined the the whole stream, huh? <laughs> Damn, I don't even know how to how to begin troubleshooting that shit. Well <clears throat> Alright, I'll try restarting the stream.